Jennifer, does Deb know what's going on now, do you think, at this point, after what she saw? Has Deb ever known what's going on? <laughs> uh, that's it. I mean, I think she's, um, no, that's the yeah. answer. <laughs> Uh, I mean, no, she's, she's taking one step at a time and takes one step forward and has sent 10 back and then it just keeps charging on. Like It is, I guess, unfortunate timing since you just discovered that you sort of are in love with your brother to find that he... Well, you know, I think that it's important to start off a job with a secret, right, that you don't share with your cast members or with any of the writers that it's your own thing and and there was certainly a fascination that I thought that Deb had with Dexter some sort of pull that she felt to him so it didn't feel like it was so bizarre to play that last season she is her the only past he is the only past that she has so it made some sort of sense and maybe it allows for slight allowances this year but it's, um, I, I think him stabbing somebody trumps those thoughts. <laughs> That's a deal breaker for most relationships. Yeah. <laughs> Scott and Wendy, did you find that you guys had sort of painted yourself into a corner at the end of last season with that moment? No, not at all. I mean, we, we very much knew where we were going at the time and just felt like it was time to finally start telling that story that had been in the back of our minds for very so a long time. I guess we all sort of knew he couldn't keep that secret forever from Deb, no, right? Absolutely not. And this does open up a, a cornucopia of possibilities dramatically, I guess, for all the characters involved. It, it does. It's just the opposite of painting us into a corner. Actually, it, it opens up so many more stories and avenues for us to go down. 